Del Barton taking the field in Lindhurst as winners of nine straight games, ranked as the top team in New Jersey and the number seven team in America per the USA Today's Super 25 rankings. But the Bergen Catholic Crusaders look to make a statement and grab a signature win early in this 2019 season. Bottom of the first, Bergen Catholic gets on the board. Orlando Pena with the shallow fly to center. That brings Matt Diamato across for the first run of the game. Taiwan Malone now at the dish with two runners on. Looks like a double play, but the slide at second slows down the throw. A bobble at first. Orlando Pena rushes home to score. BC with a 2-0 lead after one. Del Barton cuts into the lead in the second. It's a wild pitch behind the plate. Tom Calicchio hustles down the line and he's safe. It's a 2-1 game going into the second. BC starts rolling in the bottom of the second. Base is loaded for Orlando Pena who draws the walk. Marco Siracusa comes across the dish. Luis De La Cruz up now and De La Cruz sends this for a ride. Deep to left field. It's going to clear the bases for a three-run double. It's a big hit for the sophomore. BC with a commanding 6-1 lead after two. On the hill for Bergen Catholic is Notre Dame commit and senior righty Dominic Cancellari. His fastball touches in the low 90s and his curveball falls right off the table. Cancellari shutting down the Del Barton offense through five innings. It's a 6-1 game. BC had trouble generating offense after that big second inning. North Carolina commit Sean Rapp pitched two scoreless innings in relief with a trio of punch outs. One bright spot for the green wave all game long was Vanderbilt commit and shortstop Anthony Volpe. This young man can rake. This one rolls after bouncing off the turf. Volpe heading to third and he slides in safe. What an effort here to avoid the tag as Volpe nabs the stand-up triple. Del Barton will capitalize on the big hit. Sean Rapp with a grounder to second. He gets thrown out at first, but Volpe scores on the fielder's choice. That makes it a 6-2 game after six. Cancellari out on the hill for the seventh inning, and it was more of the same. He collects his 11th strikeout of the day in the complete game as Bergen Catholic sends a message by upsetting New Jersey's top team. Six to two is the final. Not many teams in New Jersey can say they've beaten Del Barton two years in a row, but Bergen Catholic did just that. They were victorious in a 6-2 game last year as well. JSC caught up with Dominic Cancellari and Luis De La Cruz after the statement win. We came into this game I mean, this is an upset on paper, but we know we can hang with these guys. We know we're that kind of team, and we uh, lost a couple couple weeks ago, but these are the games we uh, practice, all, practice all week for, and these are the games we know we can win and we should win. I was able to get ahead with the fastball first pitch. That was my mindset, get ahead with the first pitch fastball so then I can mix in my other four pitches after that. It feels great. Being a sophomore in a really good team, it feels great to be one, the number one team in the state that we're one of the best teams in the state right now. Why is that? Because we have a lot of pitchers and uh, we have a lot of hitters. Reporting from Breslin Field in Lindhurst, I'm Jay Cook with JerseySportsZone.com.